Does dual rank memory matter in a gaming laptop? To answer this question, I'll be testing two 32GB sets of DDR4 3200MHz sodium sticks, one single rank and one dual rank, in five different game benchmarks with my Legion 7 laptop. The specs of the laptop are a Ryzen 9 5900HX, an RTX 3080 16GB with a 165W TDP, a 2560x1600 display, and 32GB of RAM. Just a point of clarification, this is testing dual rank, not dual channel. Dual channel is important, especially in high-end laptops and computers. Also, when I say single rank, I mean 1RX8. There exists 1RX16, which has been shown to reduce performance in laptops. The two sets are very similar, having the same timing according to CPU-Z. The single rank is SK Hynix, while the dual rank is Samsung. Both are high-end reputable brands. For testing, I ran each benchmark three times and at two resolutions. The laptop's native 2560 x 1600 and 1920x1080 to try and see if more stress on the CPU impacts it. The five games being tested are Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Metro Exodus Enhanced Edition, CSGO, Horizon Zero Dawn, and Far Cry 6. I'm just going to go straight into the result summary because the results are rather unremarkable. In most cases, it was less than 1% change in the average FPS. That easily falls within margin of error. The most notable result was a 2.36% increase with CSGO at 1600p. In most cases at 1600p, we were GPU bound, while at 1080p, it was typically CPU bound, but it appears to not have mattered. Based on these results, you might get at best a marginal increase, but I think it's fair to say no real change. I'm sliding through the more detailed results, feel free to pause if any is of interest. There are some aspects that showed some slight changes, mostly increased but occasionally decreased. Again, mostly so minor, within 2%, that I don't think it matters. Now some points of discussion. It's more difficult to test CPU and memory compared to say the GPU, because the operating system and other applications are also utilizing them. There weren't any resource hogs that I was aware of during the benchmarking, but it's a consideration. Next, there might be more memory intensive games out there that will be impacted by the rank of the memory. I thought the games I tried were a pretty good mix, and that trying them at different resolutions would help investigate if different component bottlenecks impacted it. Finally, maybe having less RAM would have impacted the results more. Say if it was a 16GB kit, and then things needed to be swapped out as RAM filled up. This may have favoured dual rank more. With the 32GB kits, it was not even close to being filled. I've seen some people say that upgrading to dual rank had a massive increase in gaming performance. My guess would be that they were using the terrible 1RX16 modules that started appearing in laptops in the past 2-3 to three years. That would actually have a big impact on performance, though it wasn't the rank, but the module density that made the difference. So the results are quite underwhelming. Swapping out the memory and testing felt like a waste of time, but hopefully this video helps someone out there. Thanks for watching.